Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelsey. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm going to be doing my monthly favorites and subscription recap. So we're in a little bit of a different environment here. Occasionally I will film downstairs in our living room area. Um, usually because my husband is like busy upstairs and I don't feel like taking up our entire room kind of a thing. And I mean that's it's kind of nice. There's like plants and Anyways, I thinking about this video, I did not think that I had very many favorites, but as I was like looking through everything that I've been using lately, I feel like I I actually do have quite a few things. So, let's jump in. Here we go. Let's start with subscription recap. So, I just have BoxyCharm right now and I like to talk about my BoxyCharm at the end of the month just to kind of get some thoughts Unboxings and first impressions are fun, but it's not really helpful, if you know what I mean. So, let's jump into some of these BoxyCharm things. First was this palette. So this is the Pure and BoxyCharm collaboration palette. And there's some nice colors in here. Trolley, really? My cat. Every single time I film, she just has to get up in my business. She's rubbing her face on the camera right now. Awesome. And here comes the dog. Goody. So there's some cool colors in this palette. These all look exactly the same, except there's like a little bit of shimmer in this one. This one's kind of a sheen, and then this one's more of a matte. Um, this one, a Squad, sucks. Like, you can't put it on your eye. It goes on and just like doesn't apply in some patches and then like doesn't stay on. It's the weirdest shadow. Um, that one's okay. That one's okay. I haven't really messed around with much of the shimmers. I do really like the pink. The pink is great. The brown is pretty good. Um, I haven't used the black or the blue really just except for swatches. But uh, I'm not super impressed with this palette. I just I like the mirror. It's a nice mirror. It's convenient, but uh, I'm I'm just not really impressed with this, and I I don't like have like a desire to use it, and so I'm not very happy with it. The next product is kind of right in line with that. It's this three brush set. This is from Vintage Cosmetics. <sighs> when I first tried these, I was pretty excited. And I was very excited about this brush in particular. It seems like a nice like shade brush to kind of use all over the eye. This is my least favorite brush out of the three. Like this one, it just, I don't know if it's something about like the texture of the brush. It just doesn't hold on to shadow and it doesn't apply anything. Like it doesn't work. This angled brush is okay. It does okay in the crease. And I've never really been a fan of these kind of brushes. And I actually kind of like this one. I feel like I found a new purpose for these kinds of brushes. So I'm okay with this one. And then this one is okay as well. It's like a smudgy brush. And I have a brush almost exactly like this that I use all the time. This one, like that first one, it doesn't hold on to shadow super well. I don't know if it's like the shape mixed with like the material. It just doesn't do a very good job at like packing on color. It doesn't okay of like blending it out. It just doesn't, you can't really get much shadow on it. But it's okay. I'm not terribly mad at it. The next product is something I have not used yet. They are the South Main Gel Eye Packs. I just haven't used these. I was kind of saving them for like a special occasion kind of a thing. I don't know what I would, what kind of special occasion would warrant me using something like this. So maybe I'll just pop these on my face every now and then. But uh, I haven't used them yet, so sorry. If you've used them, let me know what you think down below. I also got this mascara from Butter London. This is the Double Decker Mascara. I'm so so on this mascara as well. It's got a nice brush, and I like the brush it's a little wet like I think once I use it a few more times and it kind of starts to dry out a little bit it might be really nice I like a little bit more of a drier formula just because I don't know I feel like I can get some more volume with it where when it's wet I feel like it just like 
I don't get a lot of volume and it just makes my eyelashes look like it's like four eyelashes and that's kind of what I get with this. It does add a little bit of volume and like length but I think I'm just going to use it a few more times and see if I can like dry it out a little bit and then get some more volume. It's not bad and I haven't had any problems with it like transferring to my lid or like crumbling off onto my cheeks which is great. That's a start for sure but uh, I just wish it was a little bit drier so we'll kind of we'll keep playing with it. And then the last item that is absolutely one of my favorites is this blush from Pretty Vulgar. I have it in the shade Prim Vixen, and it's the Make Them Make Them Blush blush. Um, when I first got this, I was very afraid of it because it is hot pink. It's like fuchsia pink, and so I was afraid to use this, but. Because of that I don't use blushes like this but I'm wearing it today and I absolutely love this blush like it's pretty cool toned but I feel like <laughs> I'll take my glasses off but I feel like when you put it on the cheeks it just like blends out to almost like this warm pinky like flush like you're almost kind of like sunburnt a little bit and I love it like I I've used this almost every day since I got the box. I I love it so much. So, so much. I love it. Moving on. So now going into the rest of my monthly favorites. This is definitely a monthly favorite. But moving on, I do have two items from Catrice. I picked these up earlier this month um, at Ulta. A Ulta near me recently started carrying Catrice products, which I was super excited about because I've heard so much about Catrice and like none of the Ulta's around me sold it for some reason and I've never been able to find it and so my favorite Ulta store started carrying it and they have like a pretty good size selection of it and so I'm so happy. The first Catrice product is the Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. I feel like I had heard so much about this concealer and was like really itching to try it, uh, but I just couldn't find it around me. I have it in the shade 10 Porcelain, which I believe is like their medium shade, and there's no way this is like a medium shade because I have fair skin and this is almost like a highlighting concealer on me, so I'm kind of afraid as to what their lighter color is. I don't know. but. I, I really like it. I haven't noticed much creasing and it does provide a lot of coverage. Lately I've been into like squeezy tube concealers, like concealers that are in like a little squeezy tube that you squeeze and apply with a brush or something. A few that I have um, in that kind of packaging are like really high coverage and they do a great job of like covering and then but just still looking like skin. There's something about a doe foot applicator concealer that's just so easy to use. I use this when I'm like in a hurry. I just, I, I really like it. I've had it for like two weeks or so now and I, I love it. And then the next Catrice product is the Prime and Fine Brightening Eyeshadow Base. I had heard quite a few people talk about this. I think maybe I mean, Jessica from Jam Beauty 89 or whatever. I don't remember what her channel name is now. I feel like she changed it, but Jessica. Um, I know she's talked about this, and I want to say maybe Kathleen from Kathleen Lights has talked about this. And so I was at Ulta, and Catrice was buy two, get one free. And I was wanting the concealer, and then I also picked up the um, contour palette it's like a contour color and then a highlight shade and so I was like what do I want for my third free product and so I picked this because I had heard some good things about it and I really enjoy it it's really nice I do have it on my eyes today but there's nothing intense going on with my eyeshadow but it's very brightening it's like this bright white color it does have a little bit of a shimmer to it which I don't mind I don't hate that in an eyeshadow primer it like makes your eyeshadow pop a little bit. It brings some brightness to your eyes. Like I don't feel like it makes your eyeshadow last like a super long time. My go-to eyeshadow primer is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eye Primer. I love that stuff and that stuff like glues your eyeshadow to your eye until you take it off. And I don't feel like this is quite as intense. But again, it's like this doe foot applicator and it's just super easy to use. 
and it looks really nice and so I've been really enjoying it. One last makeup product and then I have like some skincare and hair stuff is the Wowder from Glossier. I have been loving this powder. I feel like when I first got it, which was like back in like maybe mid-February, I wasn't completely sold on it. Like I was just trying to figure out what its purpose was, I think. And since then, I have discovered I love it as a setting powder for all over the face and as a touch-up powder. So I got home about half hour ago. It's 6.45 at night. And I've been out since 7 o'clock this morning, working, running errands. And so I got home, my face was quite oily. I didn't put a ton of makeup on today, and so it wasn't like packed into place. I didn't have like a bunch of powder on. I did top it off with this powder this morning, but this isn't like a mattifying powder by any means. It just kind of sets things and it looks nice on the skin. And so about half hour ago, I went up to my vanity and just popped a little bit more of this on to my face with a big fluffy brush. It just kind of helped make me not so shiny, but it just looks really nice on the skin. I've been loving it. I don't think I mentioned it in my favorites last month because I wasn't quite sure how I felt about it. And I, I love it. And I have it in the shade light medium, by the way, if you were wondering. And I think it's a great color for me. And so, I love it. One really random thing. Scrunchy! So I bought a pack of scrunchies at Nordstrom a few weeks ago. Um, there was like, and they're all like this like velvet kind of feeling. I have a black one, like a grayish silver one, and then like a tan one. The black's my fave, obviously. Really cute and like super functional. I'd been wanting scrunchies for a while and I still want to get like one that's smaller because this doesn't look good in my hair if I were to like go out. I have really thin hair and so like putting my hair in this looks like a joke because it's like this big scrunchie and then like two little hairs that like puke out of it and so it doesn't look attractive but it's very functional for when I'm at home. So I, with my pink hair, I wash my hair like twice a week. And so if I'm taking a shower, I like to put my hair, because I, I still take showers outside of washing my hair. And so I like to put my hair up while I'm in the shower so it's not getting wet and like the style isn't getting messed up. So usually I would just go to like a ponytail, just like a regular ponytail or like a big like banana clip kind of a thing and just like either put my hair in like a little bun in the back or like a little twisty kind of a thing. But I would always get creases because again I have fine thin hair and so like if my hair is in a ponytail for five minutes it gets like a crease in it. So in comes the scrunchie and it does not leave a crease. Speaking of hair, I got my hair redone early this month at the beginning of March? I think so, because I went to, I was in Texas earlier this month and I got it done like right before we went. And so I want to say I got it done, it was like really early in the month, like the second or third of March. Pink is hard, I mean any kind of like fashion color is hard. It just fades out of your hair super fast. You have like super porous hair underneath because it's bleached. And so it just doesn't last a long time. So this last time when I got it done, they recommended this shampoo and conditioner that has like color in it, which I have used a shampoo and I really like um, from Viral. It's like celebrity hair care or something. It's like Viral pink color wash. And it does leave quite a bit of pink left in your hair, which is really nice. But I feel like it didn't clean my hair very well and it just didn't leave my hair in such a good condition. And so when I got it done last time, they recommended this shampoo and conditioner combo. It's from the brand Surface Hair Health Art. So this is their, I guess they have like a few different colors of this. This is their pure blonde line. And this is the Rose Shampoo. And so you can use this on your hair if you have like pink hair or if you have blonde hair, you can use it to add like a little bit of like a strawberry kind of tint to your hair. And uh, these are expensive. Like this is probably the most expensive shampoo that I've ever purchased. Uh, I worked at a salon for a while and they sold a quage, which if you're familiar with a quage, that stuff is spendy and this is right up there with it. Like these were like $30 a piece and this is 9 ounces and this is 7 ounces. But 
they are phenomenal. Like I use the shampoo, occasionally I'll wash my hair twice when I'm washing it, um, just because again, like I wash my hair twice a week and so there's lots of like build up, I get like, I have pretty oily hair anyways and so like I'll get like lots of oils on my roots and then I'm using dry shampoo and so all the product just kind of like builds up and so maybe like every other week I'll wash it twice but when I use the shampoo I literally use like that much, like a quarter's worth and it just like really cleans my hair so nicely but it doesn't like over dry it and it doesn't strip the color out which is key and then the conditioner ah, the conditioner is so good again it's only seven ounces in here so I literally use like a dime's size amount. I remember, like I said, when I worked at the salon and I would get my hair done and I used Aquage products which were super expensive but luckily I got like a really nice discount on it. I remember the girl that was doing my hair at the time, she, cause I was like, why is the conditioner smaller than the shampoo? Because I usually use more conditioner than shampoo. She's like, that's cause you're using crappy shampoo and conditioner. And I was like, oh thanks. You're supposed to use less conditioner and like, conditioners that are like salon quality ingredients you just need like the tiniest bit so I use literally like a dime size of the conditioner which sounds nuts I just like try and keep it to the ends of my hair and just really work it in I let both of these sit for about four to five minutes in my hair to kind of develop that color a little bit kind of add some rosiness back in and then it kind of like helps the product work like you're getting the best bang for your buck kind of thing and so I've just I've really been enjoying this they are pretty pink in there you can see that's the conditioner and then the shampoo looks a little bit more red than pink well it's like pink too I guess never mind but I've been really really enjoying these oh yeah the prices are on here 32.30 oh this one's 28.26 so that evens out to $30 a piece Highly recommended. Like I, I love it. My hair feels so nice after I washed it yesterday and I feel like I didn't do a very good job at styling my hair because it's, <laughs> there's not really any style left and I had it in a ponytail all day because I was working like at the coffee shop behind the counter and so I have to have my hair up and so it kind of ruins the style anyways but anyways, <laughs> I love it. It's so good. Lastly, I have a facial mask. And I've talked about this mask before and in an empties video I think because I it's a sheet mask and so I had used it when I was in California for Christmas my skin always does like crazy things when I'm traveling it, it like it gets dry but like also like breaks out it's just fun you know and so I tried this mask from Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin and it's a charcoal mask, like a charcoal paper mask, sheet mask kind of a thing and I really, really enjoyed it when we were in California, like I could like, it was like the one, like the first sheet mask I've used where I felt like there was a difference after I used it and so I had other masks I was working on and I still have other masks that I have upstairs I could use at any point but I was at Target not too long ago and they had this which is a 10 pack of those masks so I had to pick it up because these are I mean they're not expensive they're like $3.50 a piece but the 10 pack was $16 which is a big savings and so it's like in this little plastic container with a little like package inside but anyways I love these masks my skin has been freaking out lately I've mentioned this in the last few videos I've been trying a product and it just my skin was freaking out and so I've been using these not every day and not even like a few times a week like once a week maybe twice a week and I can tell, I use it at night, and when I wake up in the morning, I can tell a huge difference. Like, I just don't have as much redness, like breakouts are going away, and so I love that mask. If you're in the market for like an acne or like oil control mask, highly recommended, and you can get these at Target. I've seen them at like Walgreens, CVS, super affordable. I mean, 
affordable and it's like natural what is this one 96 percent natural and so i really appreciate that i feel like my skin does better with more natural-esque kind of ingredients and products and so i love it but that concludes this favorites video i hope you enjoyed it um i'd love to hear about some of your favorites if you had like a love for the month of March. I would love to hear about it below. Make sure to leave that. If you've used any of these products, please share your thoughts. I would love to hear about it. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would love to have you around. And until next time, bye guys.